Now, from one side of artificial intelligence to the other side, the Indian Army now wants an AI-based threat assessment software for detailed threat assessment. The AI-based network solution enables storage and analysis of data to track and predict incidents and details can be linked with national databases such as UIDAI, MORT, in order to track vehicular movement as also monitor online presence of individuals, including on social media platforms and derive linkages and patterns. Now, to give us more details on this, I'm being joined by my colleague Ankur Sharma on the phone line. Uh, so, Ankur, now AI-based threat assessment is what the Indian Army also wants. Yeah, Vinaya, so the Defence Ministry has planned to purchase an AI-based threat assessment software for Indian Army. And for that, a request for information has already been issued as well. The software will analyze threats during operations in sensitive areas. And this software will be linked with UIDI, which is Aadhaar and data of Ministry of Road and Highways, which maintain data of vehicle registrations to in order to track vehicular movement. And also it will monitor online presence of individual, in, including social media platforms. This software will also perform a facial biometric correlation for humans and move tracking through uh, mobile as well. Also, it will have the ability to import data from other agencies as well. And this is, uh, you know, one of its kind software. No other agency uh, right now is using any uh, such uh, software. The system will also have the natural language processing model in English, Hindi, Arabic, and Urdu, uh, which will as extract intelligence automatically and generate reports, intelligence inputs, open source documents, and memos. So the reason behind uh, showing the interest in purchasing this uh, software is uh, that the, the these uh, army uh, requires a detailed threat assessment to predict various key aspects during operations. And currently, th there is no threat assessment data available with any security forces or, in fact, any other law enforcement agencies across India. But there are very limited, uh, restricted information which are available in the form of register, which is hard copy, and at the level of company operating base, as well as the headquarter level. So currently, these uh, data which is available is unstructured, and it is in the different format. And it al also provides very limited uh, actionable intelligence. Uh, now the uh, Defense Ministry wants to correlate this with AI, and then uh, it can help the defense uh, Indian Army to perform a better operation and analyze the threat. Back to you. Well, Ankur.